My legs all numb. Please hurry. <gasps> yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Well, thank you. It's selfish of me to ask, I know, but would you mind taking me home? Not sure if my leg will get me there. Sure. Be happy to. Really? Thank you so much. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Okay, girl. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Hmm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. That sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Now, just a little further. Lord! Hey, watch where you're going. Whole lot of ugly business here. Here, thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Ma'am, will you be all right from here? I'll find my way. Thank you, sir.
Hello? Where are you? You hurt? Ma'am, you all right? I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, shit! You are Arthur. Hello, Bill. Dutch has been worried about you. Sent me out looking. I've been busy. Well, all right. At least you're alive. I'm gonna head back to camp now. You, you wanna come back with me? Sure. Well, all right then. See how yours compares? How about a race to Awanjula? You're on, fella. All right. Let's go!
more than a purse to win races. Anyway, <sighs> enough to make you sick. All right, I'm due elsewhere. Well, my pocket's feeling right. Hey, you there? Good morning, mister. Can I have a horse? Okay. Now, this little crow don't look like one of ours, does he, boys? Well, if this one ain't been riding with Kieran Duffy. This is a no-good bastard. Make him pay. You're done. Uh. This oh. is it. <clears throat> Every one of us O'Driscoll's gonna piss on your grave. <laughs> Don't you just want me to end it fast? Damn you to Keep him coming! <laughs> He's watching. He's always watching. And he's never talking. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. Well, I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> Well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here well away from them. See, they come for me, but I'm watching. Yeah. I, I never sleep. No. I never do. What's going on here? You got trouble in tow? What the hell? Get out of here! Police will want to hear about this. You kidding me?
stop, goddammit! Stop, or you're dead! Hey, stop! Think I'll have another drink and then go see your wife. I expect you'll betray me in the end, Arthur. You're the type. That's so. You tell me. What is that even supposed to mean? I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a little tired, I think. That's a strange thing to say. Okay, speak later. Okay, Arthur.
Don't you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Hmm. Sure looks like another pile of shit crumbs, don't it? Let's get some of the magic touch. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. <sighs> Something. Mm. Anything. I'll take a cigarette butt at this point. Being nice to you, so be nice to me. Wait a damn second. Look at this. Oh, who's got gold? Who's got gold? Woo hee, I got some gold. Ha ha ha. Look at this, baby. Ha ha. <laughs> Wait till Tex sees this. Oh, the look on his face. Guess you found some after all. Good for you, friend. Yeah, barely size of a pebble. Don't know why I got so excited. All right, where is she? It's a sack down in the swamp by the water. Sorry I weren't here sooner. Oh, 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 thank the Lord you showed up when you did. <sighs> you saved my honor. Christ, what a mess. Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand to touch them. And I don't want to rotten indoors.
have some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. You're all right now, ma'am. So. Let's hope my Horace found another guardian angel like you. Hey, now you quit that now, you hear? Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir!
Can't nothing good come of this. Hey, you! What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Them days are long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. All right. Well, shovel your damn shit. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. Boy. <sighs> They scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. I don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Yeah, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me there. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... you know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't, you don't hit no man a piece, no government witness. <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pig's die, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away right now. Don't do it! There you go. No. No. No! You did not! Oh, oh. You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do.
Let's go, boy. Help me! Someone help me! Help! Help! You okay, Over mister? There. Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Or, or you Drink need to this. Suck It'll the help. Up. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully. I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. Uh, uh, out here. No more. Uh... Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I'm not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Cone! Oh, come on! Stop just there. Now, set it off. Scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, 
You gonna tell me about your Wild West days, running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. Well, you stand over there and... Uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Sure. How about this then? Okay, I got it. And I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yep. Good luck. to mama boy don't shoot i'm unarmed we knew you was coming i got something to ask i'm a changed man okay let me say my farewells i'll come away peaceable make it quick you're a forgiving man boy boy come here listen exactly as i say you hear no don't I ain't gonna talk. fight you in front of my family, okay? This is bullcrap! Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. I love you, Daddy! Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. Look at the floor for a bit. Johnson. Johnson! What? Just you're real quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. Son of a bitch! Come back!
quiet day for you, Mr. Lee. I'm doing these time this time. How's that? Come on, man. Now, what was the point of all that? Could have got your neck broke. Premature. Like the boy said! Yeah! This is Rhodes. You're almost shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Small Holden. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a break. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't wider than wider. I hope your path catches up with you. Yep. Hold your horses, won't be long. Well, hello again. How do you do, sir? I got another one. Then. You interested? How's things, Alden? Good. Whoa. All right, this is a little different. Take the coach and deliver it to my contact. He'll pay you well for it. It's a fragile cargo, so go easy. Okay, but the money best be right. Oh, it it is, Arthur. I promise it's very right. Thanks. Alden, I need a word. Hello, you. What can I help you with? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, 
He spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him riding the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. Mm-hmm. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's I saying that- I didn't shoot him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! I did that. Because barbarity is poor, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Yep. Try again. Please. Please. It 
is M. Morning. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! Meet us at the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. Oh, no, my mother gave me that when I was a girl. Yeah. You little bastards! You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Wait. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Maybe your eyes don't work so good no more. You kids! Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. <clears throat> hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, I, hey, help. Uh, well, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> Unbelievable. Goodness. to you. Hello. Leo. Come on. Out of the way. Every day. It's a new challenge, Father. Mr. Morgan. Uh, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? <laughs> Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Well, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? 
Brother Dorkin found him. I told you. Brother Dorkin was fantastic. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. They're a union built on that, you know. It, okay. Take long, boy.
better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? You gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Ah, uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that debt. Someone's here, boy. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for. Mm. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Ah. I'll cut your damn head. Clean off. Uh.
I don't want another beating. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. That's it, I told you. Drunk and a destitute. There ain't nothing else here. Camp stranger. I don't mean no harm, okay? Best want to speak to Hernandez. We don't like visitors up here. Kill this fool. I didn't want trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you about Boy Calloway. Put your weapons away, and I'll come out. Huh. You ain't getting in here. <coughs> Put them away. I'm unarmed. King <coughs> I just want to talk. My boy Callaway? Sure. Here's your message. You there? You can 
Red now, boy. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you got mine. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Oh, he got it. Of course. Good shot, sir. There it goes. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir. And this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen. Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My fault. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the Lizard man, please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Why, too much. Nope, my sweet. Hello, welcome. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Would you like some extra help there? Yeah, okay. Sure. You can just leave it to me now. You let me know if you need anything, all right? Hope the water's hot enough.
Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. All right, I think I'm good. All the best. I've been in Valentine so long, I just don't see myself anywhere else. Thanks, mister. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next episode. Bye.